Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we're still at uh, Lana Conning here, and you can see now it's in Draconis Combine hands. If we have a look at the uh, star map here real quick. Um, we left off, I believe, with this in Jade Falcon hands, but uh, Draconis Combine's got it to 88% right now. Um, Echo is uh, still got a bit of uh, Draconis Combine on it. Uh, it's only 13 days away, but we're still here right now. Um, and I don't really see um, any real contracts that I definitely want to do here. However, we do have a priority mission here, which would be good. It is against the uh, Draconis Combine. The only problem is, is that um, it's a defend base mission. So this is going to be really up in the air as to how good this is going to end up being. So we're going to negotiate. We're going to take this. We're going to just do it. Uh, we might as well. And we're going to go 522. I mean, look at the payout on this. It's like, it's ridiculous, right? Like 3 million, like, or 729, I don't know. We go full salvage. I got a feeling it's going to be a big payout in, uh, in damage. But let's go, uh, let's, why not? Let's just try it, see what happens. We may get lucky and actually not be that bad. But uh, let's accept this. So we've got to be very wary about our, our ammo usage here. We're going to go with our main lance. Now we've got the uh, Thunderbolt 20 in here now. Um, we do have 12 turns of firing, so that's okay. We can limit the LRM 15 firing if we have to. Um, and then it's really the Orion I'm worried about, losing the uh, ammo for the rotaries. So we'll just have to be selective when we go full, like, full out. If we can kill somebody, we will. But if it's uncertain, we'll just have to dial it back, I think. Uh, so we're going to go this route. Let's, so let's deploy and get this done. Oh, good. All right. Well, yeah, I know we're getting some support. All right. So they've got vehicles, it sounds like. Now, I can't remember where their reinforcements come from. I think it's up here. I think our back is to the wall here, so I think we're kind of okay. Uh, we may get some guys from over here. Um, okay, so I don't want to stray too far from the base till we know what turrets we have. Um, I think we want to be very wary of drifting too far out. So let's go up here. That's about as far as we'll go, I think. Ready for orders. So let's bring you... Um, let's get in the woods here. So I'm only going to have an opportunity to record one full episode of anything tonight. Uh, so I'm choosing Jade Falcon Freeborn because I want to try. I was like been itching to try out this Thunderbolt 20. Uh, now I know um, Double time. Let's go. we did some. Uh, I read some of the comments, and one of the thing, one of the comments was, and it's a totally valid comment that the Thunderbolt 20 is easier to intercept with AMSs, and it's totally true. And I I had kind of forgotten about that when I was loading it in, um, but I think if we're going against mechs that don't um, Either don't either don't have AMS or um, we're in a direct line of sight to. Um, I think it's going to work out just fine, but we'll have a good idea once we start this up. So yeah, I got to get up really early tomorrow. So like I said, I'm only really able to record one episode of anything tonight. Um, Red Reaper, eh? That does not sound good. Okay, Joust. Um, Gonna reserve you. Acknowledge. See if we can get Griff's eyes on here. Does that say 70 ton heavy? Looks like it does. X pulses and a heavy PPC. This is a black knight. I had a look too before we started. Um, gonna go to four, I think. This guy's got a lot of armor, though. 
Let's hammer it. Let's hammer this guy. We're going to go full out. Um, so I had a look at our assault mechs. Whoa. Man. Um, and what we're looking at is four pieces of an Atlas and five pieces of a Marauder 2. So we're looking for those here. Oh, we got a head hit on this guy. Let's see if we can get an early out here. Yep, there it is, folks. I need a new target. You do, fucking mockingbird man. Marry me. Okay. Waiting for orders. So I think we got a bit of wiggle room here. So we do have uh, we do have a fair number of black knight parts as well. Ontos. I think we have a better chance of killing the joust. Um, not much of a better chance though. Just gonna fire. But I think we can unload with some artillery on that guy. There's our turrets. Now we gotta find out what our turrets are. Because I don't want to get caught in an artillery crossfire. So we got... Where are our turrets? Huh. There's more guys back there for sure. Um, Waiting for orders. Let's do this. Heading out. Yeah, let's see what we're, our chance with the Thunderbolt is here. 31. It's pretty darn low. And if we change the thermo, still the same. Gonna hold off with that, but we are gonna fire the Artemis. Okay, nice. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Thank you so much. Now, where are our turrets? We actually get turrets? It's interesting. Um, he's only got 960 armor. Let's go all out. See if we can punch a hole somewhere that we can follow up with our other mechs here. I don't know, I don't think he's going to melee us. Let's stick with the Eblat of armor here with the uh... I'm there. Ooh. Let's capitalize on the leg hit. Ooh, yes! Reporting critical hit. Going down! I got a job for you. I want this leg, please. Targeting ah. Can't have everything, I guess. How do we do? Got like one hit on it. Commander. Uh, I need you to do me a favor. See if you can take this leg. Acknowledge. Both legs, there it is. So we did hit with the Thunderbolt in the leg. Target eliminated. So, okay. That's one bonus so far. See how else we do here. So, I mean, we could use the Thunderbolt. I mean, maybe we don't go with the Thermal Bolt, bolt Ammunition. Up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. When isn't there enemy reinforcements? I don't think we got a turret here. All right, what do we got here? Arbiter, Valkyra, Valkyra. We got to kill those guys, but we've only got eyes on the Arbiter right now. I'm going to turn this down just to three. Actually, I'm not going to fire at all. 
Not with those chances to hit. Let's get our racks unjammed. We've got some more guys up here. Dragon 2, okay. Get a focus fire our enemies. Let's see if we can remove this Ontos here. Fire 4. Yeah, it's not a mech. You don't do so well against non-mechs. So I was kind of... This is going to sound weird. It's going to the bathroom. And I was like comparing in my head uh, weapons. And, and I still got to say, I think the ER, the Clan ER Large Laser is probably the best weapon in the game in all respects. You can argue against me if you feel free to go ahead and argue against me. But I'm thinking with the weight for heat per damage per space ratio, I think you can't beat the ER large the clan ER large laser. You just can't do it. All right, and you guys still got to take got to take into account ammunition loadout. Um I mean, all different kinds of things, right? Uh, let's not turn our back to the Ontos. Let's just get over here. Moving out. I mean, you can argue the Clan Ultra 20. You might have an argument, maybe. But then you got to figure Clan Ultra 20, you're looking at minimum of four tons of ammo. So that's 16 tons right there. You got to consider the heat. The recoil, um, all the other systems they have to put in place to re to uh, remove the recoil. There's an Athena, nice. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I think if I could load up a, a mech with just all Clan ER large lasers, like I'd do it. Like an assault. I, I would like to see an assault mech with just all Clan ER larges. I mean, after a while, the heat sinking would get ridiculous, obviously, but. Um, do I want to finish this Ontos up? I think I do. But I think the, we got a problem with these guys approaching. What's this guy again? Kira. Let's just get up. Um, I'm going to spend one turn in the line of fire here. What do we got? This is the Arbiter moving over that way. Um, Confirm the warlord on this, and we're gonna go after him. Maybe we get lucky with the with the thunderbolt. No. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's like if you think about it, it's probably the lower end damage of the large weapons, right? But if you think of it, like, compared to a clan ERPPC, right? ERPPC is doing 70 damage for 55 heat at 6 tons. So you could put two of those in. That's a mortar, I guess. Um, you could put two of those in. That's 12 tons. 110 heat, 140 damage. You could put f three ER larges in for 120 heat. It's only 10% more. 180 damage. The range just goes from 750 to 1,000 meters. I mean, you could argue how often do you engage at 1,000 meters, but, you know, it gives you the option, at least in this version now, like this guy's way over here. I can target from here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can still hit him. You can't do that with an Ultra 20. You can't do that with a Rack 5. You can't do that with ERPPCs. So... If you got any comments, drop it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. What do you think is the best weapon in the game? I mean, and you got to give me a good argument too. Like, it's got to you got to include all the factors: recoil, weight, secondary systems you need to make it work properly, um, all that kind of stuff, right? Heat, Commander? ammunition, and ammunition types. You know, you got to look. We can look at those too. Um. Antos is not dead, but he's not a threat at the moment. I'm going to move into the open here. So I'm thinking... That guy's not the threat. This guy's more or less a threat. More of a threat than... Well, I don't know. The Dragon 2. I, I don't know the loadout that well. But I do know that you've got missile systems. 
That's a 50% chance to hit. That's 63. We're going to go after the dragon. He's got two lasers. Chances are one of them's a PPC. It could be two. This draws his attention. Griff's going to shred somebody to this turn. Maybe the Athena, I don't know. I think the Athena is too far away at this moment. What's up, boss? Got it. Oh yeah. I got to keep that guy from getting close to my other Max. I think maybe Griff will shred him this turn. I mean, we're up, we're up on a ramp, right? You can't get up here. Not easily, anyway. Whole bunch of ones. I should respond in kind, but... What else we got back here? King Crab, ooh. Okay. He'll take a while getting into battle. Let's crank it up to four. And let's see if we can pull this guy out of the match. Should be able to get him next turn, I think. What else do we got back here? Black Knight, okay. Uh, I think we just fire. Copy that. I want to hit as many times as possible to open up a few areas. Let's pull back here. Position confirmed. Hopefully we can pinpoint strike him next turn and kill him. I hate having to shoot at this guy down here because he's really not a threat until he gets close. But he's really the best chance to hit right now, so. Okay, we're at round six right now, so we got still a few turns to go. I think we got lots of Black Knight parts, too. I can't really remember. I was really more focusing on the Assault Mechs. This being a five skull defend base, I was hoping that we would have more than just one Assault Mech, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. That the five Marauder two parts puts us really close to getting a Marauder two, four Atlas parts. It's nice. So as long as they focus on the vehicles, I'm okay for now. That that Athena has moved in close enough. I think we can unload with the racks on it now. Night Gear is in a position that's pretty safe overall, except for this guy coming around here. He's going to take a few turns to get into play, so I'm not that worried. Was that the dragon? Okay, so is the I thought the mortar was considered a ballistic weapon. Because he's got two lasers and a missile weapon, so I'm not even, not even exactly sure what he's shooting here. Hang on one more turn, buddy. One more turn is all I need you for. Okay. Now oh, that command console would have been in handy. It's so hard to run that, though, in like a heavy and medium lands because of the six tons, right? Just eats up three tons of a mech, and then that mech is like the targeting systems are pretty darn low. This guy's flanking. We gotta worry about this guy. That's the V version. We don't know what version this is. Shit. Up, 
Damn it. Stop spreading the damage around. Stay in the trees, please. On my way. Ready for orders. You need to move back into the base. Roger that. Oh. Um, it's a huge difference. All right, let's go this route. Roger that. That hit something good. Yeah, thank you. Standing by. Do that. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some pieces of mech from that one. Let's go this route. We well, we need to shred some people. Yeah, I think it's got to be the Athena. Wow, we could probably kill this guy. We got enough connection on him. Athena's way more of a threat, though. Let's go with the Athena. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad start. I wonder if a lot of these guys just can't see us. At least these two back here are hidden well, I think. A night gear, I think, can be spotted. Yeah, keep his attention. I'm glad we were able to pull these two mechs down fast because this would be a very different match if we didn't. He's trying to get within melee range, I know that. I'm just, I don't even know if there's another mech back here though. I doubt it. It's kind of weird that a dropship would just drop three of them. Okay, that was the Athena. You can definitely see me. Armor low. Distance holding. Arm, maybe? I don't know. Down to half. It's not low. 25% or lower is low, but... Okay, at least he's walking through the heat over there. Stay nice and toasty, please. Stay nice and toasty. I think that's the Ultra 20 crab. We gotta back the hell up. He's gonna take down some buildings. There won't be a damn thing we can do about that. Not until these jerks are done. We still got that incendiary too, right? For the uh, Thunderbolt 20. I think maybe we fire that, that that at the Black Knight this turn. Try and limit his fire. Commander. We don't have much we can shoot at here, eh? Black Knight. 74. 
63. Well, it's really no contest. So Warlord it up, fired the Black Knight. I have no idea how many hit. Just gonna move back here. Just for now. Okay, Griff's gonna sprint. So we're gonna confirm the vigilance. Um, let's get back in here. Okay, Athena's back on the radar. I've only got one rack right now. Dial it back to three. Shoot at the Black Knight, I think. Mm, we're gonna thermal bolt him, I think. There's the King Crab. What's he got left here? 28. If we got a lucky shot, we might be able to take him down. So let's fire on this guy. Okay, so that's the torso. Second rack's back. The rack is back. Okay. It's nice finally having some pinpoint damage on that uh, night gear, I have to say. Hold on there, buddy. Hold on there, little buddy. I'm gonna try and kill this guy, I think. Maybe we shoot the Black Knight or Athena. Let's see if we can remove this guy. Wow, that bad. Ugh. Yeah, but it didn't, you didn't do what I wanted you to. He needs to be gone. Yes, Commander. On my way. Um. Let's go thermal on this guy. And. What's the swarm at? 60, eh? Athena's close by. Let's fire it. Spot. Okay, a lot of fours on both. Not bad. I don't know if we hit with the thermal, though. I didn't see it. Hopefully there's some heat there. Very disappointed this guy didn't die. He's taking a hell of a lot of punishment. Way too much of our attention. Although he's pretty much useless now. Nice. Even more useless. So we're gonna forget about him for now. He's gonna hobble on over. I think his I think all his weapons are pretty much gone. Oh he still got his boomstick, does he? Right. <laughs> of course he does. Wonder if his ammo's gone though. Oh no, if it was, it wouldn't be registering. Wouldn't be registering as a viable weapon. The King Crab slowly moving in. Probably gonna shoot the Nike here, but we'll see what he does. I think if we all focus fire the Black Knight this turn, we might be able to pull him down. Yeah, he's not shooting, I think, because he's overheating. At least I hope he is. Okay, what are we doing? How are we doing for ammo? 53 rounds. So if I use up 12 now... Yeah, that's still going to leave us enough for the King Crab. Let's hammer this guy. Was not expecting that, but I'll take it. Why can't we do that shooting against this guy? What the hell? Still got another one of those guys over there too. 
What's he doing? Not doing much. He's trying to flank. Good to go. I just don't think he can really see us all that well. So this guy right now is a threat. So we're going to Warlord it. We're going to fire on him. Locking in. Nice. Three hits. Penetrated somewhere. Inflicted some heavy damage. He almost certainly did. Let's get up in the trees. Gotta stay damn back fun. here. You gotta keep backing up because that king crab's getting too damn close. Uh, that's gonna give him a back attack. Let's move this way. On it. Thermal bolt still up. I think we want to save a thir the th one thermal bolt for the well. Forty percent, eh? Don't think now is not the time to dial it back. Let's warlord this. Give us a better chance to hit. Fire. Ah, we missed. Solid connection on that one. Okay, still got Mockingbird. She might be able to pull that mech down. Then we gotta focus our fire on that King Crab. There's that Arbiter back there too. Not sure what he's doing. Kind of roaming around there. Don't think this guy's unstable. 30% chance to hit. Okay, we're just going to shoot it because I want to at least be able to hit it. 56 is a little better. Jesus Christ. Mockingbird. You were a hero a little while ago. Now your people are throwing friggin' newspapers at you. Throwing friggin' squid at ya. Ha! <laughs> I still remember... When I was... What? Grade 7. I played football one year. And I still remember... The coach saying to me... When we were in practice... Um... I was a receiver. And uh... The quarterback throws this beautiful pass. I catch it, and they're like, yeah, and then the next pass, he throws this pass, and I, do, I fumble and drop it. And he's like, the fans were like, you know that last one? The fans were like, you know, cheering you on and loving you, and then now they're throwing pop cans at you. <laughs> I just thought, what a weird thing to say, but it's probably really accurate. Now they're throwing pop cans at you. I used to work with this old old lady. I don't want to call her an old lady, but she was. She was 70, 76 at the time. Anyway, she was um, married to a young, or no, sorry, she was 86 at the time. Her husband was 70. And I, I was working in this bulk food store. They also made candies, right? So this woman actually hand dipped chocolate. So they would make these chocolate packages uh, like package of like assorted chocolates, and she hand dipped every single one of them. Um, and I'll never forget. I used to work with her husband in the back room. He used to make like peanut brittle and stuff. And he told me that she was like, like brutal. Like they would go to hockey games, and she'd be the woman behind the uh, the opposing team's bench, leaning over with a rolled up newspaper, smacking the players on the head. The funny thing is, is I could totally see her doing that, too. She was feisty, man. She was really short, small, but she was feisty as hell. Never knew what became of her. I moved on to a different job and never stayed in touch, but, man, I'm telling you, those two were characters. Doug and Blanche. Her name was Blanche. I never, I've never known another woman by the name of Blanche since then, but, yeah, Blanche, man. That was, why can't I target that guy? Worried about that damn king crab. Ah, we're not going to see him now. You know what? Forget it. I'm, I'm going to leave the racks off for now. Let's get our uh, recoil gone. Receiving it. 
Um, can you not see that guy? You cannot. But you can now. Aye, aye. Oh, we can see the Athena now. Oh, really? Can't not say no to this one. You want to leg it? Or torso it? Or both? On it. Nice. Mech destroyed. Sure was. Commander. Got it. Um. Whew. I think I want to save the swarm for the crab. So let's go with a pair of these guys on this guy. Okay, that guy's gone. One left target. Ontos, Arbiter, Bakira, and King Crab left. Two turns left. They finally got the vehicle, did they? King Crab's getting the rocks. Mono a mono, bra. I shouldn't even move. It's going to give me the best chance to hit. All right, let's kill this guy. Good start. Hopefully, it makes him partially unstable. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. It's fine. I didn't move. Um. Move order received. Okay, so we want to go swarm with this attack on the king crab. And yes. Okay, missed the thunderbolt. We knock him over. Oh yeah, baby. Someone's gonna take a lot of punishment here. Ninety-nine percent chance to hit. We go for headshots. Or torso. I think we go for torso. No idea where that hit. Let's get in the trees just in case he decides to retaliate. Same torso, please. Firing. Oh, you're a murderer, girl. King Crab doesn't even get a chance to shoot. Nice. Oh, that's it. Mission successful. We didn't even have any turrets either. That's awesome. You know, in a way, I'm kind of glad we didn't have turrets with all the nightmare stories I heard of of um, artillery turrets doing splash damage against against your own guys. It was kind of better that we didn't have any, I imagine. But uh, So contract payment increased by 40%, 824000 after our drop cost, which is awesome. Uh... Not a bad distribution of kills. Mockingbird getting back into the swing of things again. Now that her mech's properly loaded out. We have to get some better targeting systems in here. But we are we are coming along. Going to have to go through everything. Now we got with seven pieces. So we can get an Athena. Don't know if we... I think we've got an extra Black Knight piece somewhere. So we can get a Black Knight. I don't know which version. This has got the 13 laser hard points. They were both the same. Dragon King Crab pieces. Now, I don't think we have any King Crab pieces though. Red Reaper. That's another Black Knight. Santa PPC with an ER version. Eh. 
arrow four. Well, we can't say no to that because we don't have an arrow four right now. I'm not sure where that, what mech had that. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that was on um, the dragon. That could have been that big explosion that we were seeing. Clan ER large. Is there a clan mech here? Which one would be considered clan mech? If you know, drop it in the comment section down below. Red Reaper? No, because that had the uh, X pulses. Large combat shield. One of the Black Knights might have been. Clan XL engine, exchangers. These are nice with the three tons. Prefer the clan exchangers at one ton. Let me see what else we got here. Before we decide on what mech parts we want. Prototype double heat sinks. We've got six right now. Void system, arrow ammo. We still got lots of arrow ammo. We got three tons, I think. Yeah. So we're okay there. All right, so there's nothing else down here that we want. Missile range. We don't have any of these. But 20% increase. It's only good if we have an SRM boat. I mean, you could put it on an LRM boat, but we've never had run into problems where we're not in range. Um, it is really nice, though. I, th I don't know. Just go with Black Knights? Athena's another missile mech. Four missile and six laser hard points, so that's not bad. That would be a good replacement for the night gear. But the night gear ah, is an Omni, so it's easier to repair and do everything with. Ugh. You know what? We're in a quest for bigger mechs, so I'm thinking King Crab parts. And that's how we go. We're liable to get lots of Black Knight parts. Um, I don't see how we can't, but let's do this. Okay, we got one Athena part. No big deal. One, two, three, four Black Knight parts. Okay. We know we got the King Crab parts. Uh, three Red Reaper parts, ERPPC, some stuff that inner sphere garbage that we can sell, and that's it. So I don't know how many King Crab parts we had, if we had any at all, but let's just see if we actually get a mech out of this. Same with Black Knight, I don't know if we had other Black Knight parts. Okay, not bad. Karuta took Asgard from Jade Falcon, eh? Okay, good work guys. However you're Losing a lot of other planets. <laughs> Kirita took Leyla from Jade Falcon. Hey, we took Lana Conning from J from Kirita, really. Did we just actually flip this planet? It had 88%. Did this mission actually do that? It was a five skull. Let's check it out. So Kirita would have lost and we would have gained. It is Jade Falcon now. Unless there's somebody else here. No, it's just us. Oh, my god, they lost 45% and we gained 45% for that mission. Outstanding. Wow, that was impressive. Okay, so we didn't get any other mechs. That's that's a kind of a bit of an upset. Um, Night Gear, one day, 11 days for the, for the Orion. Actually, not bad, not bad at all. Is there another mission we want to do here? Um... Because we'll just fix up and go. Repose the prisoner. It's an escort. That's going to be too long. Man of the people is an escort. Coupe. Uh, clandestine research. This local government. Yeah, not much we can really do here. So while we repair, it's a 13 day jump. Uh, let's go over to um, Echo here. 13 day jump. We can solidify Clan uh, Jade Falcon's uh, ownership of this planet. So let's travel there. Roger that, 
See if we can find a good five skull over there. The next episode we'll come back here if this planet needs to be liberated again. So there's the hydroponic garden. Let's have a look at what else we got left here. I'm not going to do the med bay. I want to, but it's too costly right now. This is only 200000 for one morale, so why not? Get the hydroponics up and running. I should be I should really be getting that med bay up and going, but Yeah, let's go and check it out. Morale's increased by one. Oh you got Well, Gaucho's drunk now. You drunk bastard. Yeah, it's funny, I stopped drinking like what? Uh fifteen years ago? When my eldest was born. I'd done a lot of videos for Mothers Against Drunk Driving and seen what horrible things can happen. Oh my god. Victim stories. Just, oh man, it was terrible. So I stopped drinking when my son was born because I'm the only one in my family that drives. So I was like, if anything was to happen and I was drinking, I'd, I, I wouldn't be able to take my son to the hospital or whatever. So, yeah, so I stopped drinking altogether. Some days I miss it, and then I've, you know, I've had a few drinks now and again, and I'm like, man, I don't miss this at all. <laughs> so it was just so painful waking up with a hangover in the morning. All right, so uh, where are we here? Anything here we want? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to sell off a bunch of junk between episodes. Omnipod Hand. Mealy Accuracy. We don't really need those. Um, we got plenty of Artemis ammo. Follow the leader. We don't really need the robot tens. Okay, we're okay. So let's have a look at the contracts. And our pilots. Oh, can't stop the signal. Looks like might be one we we take here. If that's a uh, non-base defense, we'll take it. Uh, let's take a look at the mainlands here. I don't think we have anybody that can go up in anything. I'm here. But you never know. Six pack. Sundance. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, contracts. So, man of the people is or can't stop the signal. Operative in a Korean research facility. Been gathering sensitive data. No further need. Need a deniable force to arrange the extraction. The research facility is not connected to any data networks. Um. Position a satellite receiver directly above the site. Your task will be to place positioning beacons to allow the satellite. Yeah, I don't think so. Heavy lure. Don't know what that would be. Manufacturing facility, capture base, four and a half skulls. Raiding party, decapitation, assassinate somebody. Leave a mark. Destroy a base. That's pirates though. Insurgent leader. I want to find somebody against Karita here. That's pirates. Raiding party. Local pirates. Oh, come on. Stop with the pirates, man. So many pirates. Decapitation is what? Planetary government. Raiding party. Pirates. Really? What's going to give us good salvage? Destroy a base. What are the pirates likely to have, though? Although it is relatively easy, and if we do get the right mech parts, we can get an assault mech if we get lucky. Let's go this route. And we're going to go full salvage. Not the best mission to win uh, more favor on the planet, but we'll do it this way. Alright. Turrets are such a pain in the ass. Not if you got super long range weapons, they ain't. Rock on, everybody. Did you just say rock on? Dude. I haven't been a rock and a rock and rock and roller guy since I was like 
in high school in the 80s. Yeah, so I listen to all kinds of music. Good to go. If you've checked out some of the, some of the uh, um, videos and my liked videos on my channel, you can see that I just like I like a lot of different kind of music, mostly electronic music. I just find it more energetic than other stuff. Reporting. All right, what do we got here? Mackie. I've never seen a Mackie in the game before. This is the first time I'm going to see a Mackie. It's like almost worth trying to capture this thing. Critical hit, Commander. They've got a friggin' Mackie. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Although I don't really want it. Giving him everything I've got. I want to at least visually see it. Wow, they've it's only got one three one. vehicles. Standing by. Don't kill the Mackie. Shoot the vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah, let's, well. Artemis better chance to hit. We'll level them, land more missiles. Um, I think the, the number of missiles we have here is actually a pretty good loadout. All right, this is a good start. Let's go with four. Oh, not quite enough. Enemy critical damage detected. They can't even see us. Waiting for orders. Can we get eyes on the... No, I don't think we can get eyes on the Mackie. I know it looks like a giant urban mech. Yeah, look at it. It's a Mackie! So awesome. Sniper turret. LRM turret. Thumper. Let's get rid of the thumper. And let's warlord this up. Firing. Did you miss with one? You missed with one. No, you didn't. Got all four. Okay, good. Well, now that we've seen the Mackie, both of my racks are jammed. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. I was going to shred the guy. Oh, man. That's just funny right there. Okay, you're on turret duty. All right, packs of sixes. Let's get up here. Aye, aye. More lord. Swarm, and we'll hammer this turret. Oh, they upgraded it. It's an upgraded Mackie. It's totally an upgraded Mackie. Mackie. It's like... <laughs> I'm losing armor Who the hell upgrades a Mackie? Oh. Sorry, we needed to see the Mackie. You can back up now. Oh, it's a long Tom turret. That's not good. Need a GTFO, baby. GTFO. Really, eh? All right. God. 
You want to see what real racks look like? Yeah. What's up, boss? Got it. Roger that. Nice shooting. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Spin these friggin' racks up on this guy. Ready for orders. Uh, no, you need to be out here. Copy Better that. chance to hit. Let's hit this guy. And fire. Ooh, almost got him. I don't think we can... Oh, we can get direct fire on him. So let's do that. Nope. Uh, this is going to be B. That's going to be A because we have a better chance to hit with our one arm here. And... Yep. Okay, long time gone. They still got lerms, but it's not so bad. Not so bad. Damage minimal. Yes, Commander. That's the left side. All right, let's move. Uh, yeah. Don't let him intimidate you. Line him up. Here it comes. Here goes half his armor. Like that, did you? Did you like that? I think this is all we're getting out of this match, so, uh... Better get some salvage from this guy. Solid connection on that one. Did you get his leg, though? That's the question. That's the question. Did we get the leg? We did not. Finish him. On it. Kill Target eliminated. Let's not mess around. Location confirmed. We're gonna get sh shite salvage out of this, but I'm here. can't always win. Can't always win. Copy that. Okay. Order. And Artemis. Oh, Thunderbolt's out of range, eh? That's fine. That's a good start. Order. Good start. I thought I saw a. Uh, oh. 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 Going full throttle. Well, hello there. Affirmative. Not quite enough. Waiting for orders. Let's finish it up. All right, let's go finish these base off. One left turret. I would have expected more from this mission. But what do you do, right? What do you do? What's up, boss? 
Let's get into missile range anyway. Thunderbolt range. Good to go. Understood. Moving fast. Yeah, so I'm kind of disappointed I already get to do one episode tonight, but uh, really, let's go this way. But um, you know, gotta get up super early. My son left his backpack at my work, and he's got a homework he's got to take into school tomorrow. So. Got to go into work early, pick the backpack up, take him all the way across the city to a school. Then I got to come back with my second one because they've got to go to a high school meeting thing in the morning. Aye, aye. Reading you. Finally. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. That wasn't me. I didn't shoot. Telling me a good shot. Copy that. Yeah, fire. Target acquired. Target eliminated. Don't even need to move. And this a little quicker. Yeah. We got ripped off. Well, at least it was a five skull mission for Jade Falcon. Uh, we took a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Timberwolf took a bit. I don't think we took any component damage. Yeah, foot, but we can fix that, no problem. Yeah, what do we got here? Pirate Goss Rifles, eh? 1.1 million. Definitely sellable. Taking the Mackie part, because why not? Binary Laser, eh? 15 variable damage, 60% chance to do a crit. Nine tons, though. Pretty damn heavy. Is this a Rack 20? That certainly looks like a Rack 20 to me. Why does it say damage 20 times 3? Pirate rack, fire a barrage with smaller caliber, sh caliber shots of five. It's 20 tons, though. Now, does that use rotary auto cannon? Use racks. It does use rack 20 ammo. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know how I feel about pirate weapons. But it's a Rack 20. It's a Rack 20. 12 shots to 36 shots. It's a Rack 20. It can't be 20 times. I, I don't even know. We're going to have to load it up and test it. But I can't leave the Mackie part behind, so we'll go this route. Alright, binary lit. We got the three Goss rifles anyway. Uh, did we get the last rack ammo? We did! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Alright. So I'm really, really interested to see what that rack 20 actually does. So we're going to have to find some mech to put it on. So maybe we pull, it's like going to be 28 tons, 26 at the minimum, I think, for the amount of ammo that you got to carry with that thing. Um, we don't have a mech in the bay that can actually support it right now. I mean, I don't know. Let's go to storage and just check out what we have here real quick. I can't not check that out. Uh, what do we have? Exterminator doesn't have any ballistic hard points. Centurion does. Catapult does. Mjolnir has got one. Where is it located though? Doesn't tell me where it is. Goss rifle on the left arm. Okay, so it does have one on the arm. That's a 70-tonner. 
That's probably going to have the most space for it. Let's bring... <laughs> yeah, let's bring it forward, baby. Alright, guys. Next next episode, we're going to load out the Mjolnir with a Rack 20 and try it out. Just because. Just because. So, yeah. Um... We'll take something relatively easy so we don't get trashed if it doesn't work out very well. Um, and if it blows the arm off the mech or does something horrible to it, I'm not really going to care because it's, I mean, it's the Mjolnir, right? So it's not an Omni mech. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to leave the episode there for today. If you enjoyed it, uh, please drop a like. Uh, if you got any um, suggestions for the loadout for the Mjolnir besides the Rag 20, please drop it in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about that. Um, yeah, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.